a good rule for using turn signals is if you don't have self-canceling signals, remember to turn off the turn signal after completing a turn or lane change. When traction is poor, as in rain or snow, how should you speed up? Very gradually. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a divided highway? All to the rear, at 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet. How often should cargo inspections be conducted? After every break during driving. As soon as you see your trailer getting off of the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. When driving over 40 miles per hour, how much space should you keep in front of your vehicle? At least one second for 10 feet of your vehicle's length plus one additional second. What is a vehicle condition report? A list of problems that you find. Two rules for using turn signals are signal early and signal continuously. Before starting down a hill, you want to be sure that you are in the proper gear. You downshift before you start down the hill. How does tire pressure affect hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is more likely to occur when tire pressure is low. When should you help out other drivers by signaling when it is safe for them to pass? Never signal to let others know it's safe to pass. Traffic is moving 35 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. What is your pardon me, what is your best driving speed? Your best driving speed is probably 35 miles per hour. At night, where can you look to avoid the glare of oncoming traffic headlights? Try to look at the right side of the road and watch the side lines. How long does it take to stop a heavy vehicle going 55 miles per hour on a dry level road about the length of a football field or about six seconds. You wish to turn right and you must swing wide. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. What can rust around the wheel nuts mean? The wheel Nuts may be loose. Why should you never assume you will clear the heights posted at overpasses? Because some roads can cause your vehicles to tilt. At night, if the vehicle coming towards you has its high beams on, you should keep your low beams on and look off to the right. What should you do if your vehicle hydroplanes? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch to keep your vehicle from rolling back when you start up. You should 
Partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off of the brake. What is a good reason for knowing what the traffic is doing on all sides? You need to have room to change lanes or stop. What is controlled braking? Controlled braking is simply applying the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Whenever you are about to pass a vehicle, pedestrian or bicycle, you should assume that they have not seen you. Convex mirrors show a wider area than flat mirrors, but they also make everything seem farther away than it really is. What are three factors of total stopping distance with hydraulic brakes? Perception, reaction, and braking distance. When backing a trailer, you may make corrections to reposition your vehicle by pull-ups. Empty buses may not require more stopping distance than loaded buses because they usually have as much braking power when empty as when loaded. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a two-lane road? Within 10 feet of the rear and 100 feet to the rear and 100 feet from the front. When should you use your high beam headlights? Whenever you can, providing the law allows it. In holding a steering wheel, what is the proper way to place your hands? Firmly with your hands on opposite sides of the wheel. If you have to set out warning reflective triangles by the highway, you should hold them between yourself and oncoming traffic. Where are some things to do? Pardon me. What are some things to do when you are backing your vehicle? Look at your path. Back slowly. Back straight back. What are some defects to look for in suspension system? Spring hangers that are cracked or broken. When should you downshift for a curve? You should downshift before entering the curve. Besides looking for vehicles coming into your lane, looking for traffic means Watching for brake lights of slowing vehicles ahead. What is the purpose of cargo blocking and bracing? To keep cargo from sliding and falling and getting out of balance. When you, pardon me, when you need to slow down, you may want to warn drivers behind you by Tapping lightly on the brake pedal to flash the brake lights. When backing a trailer, you turn the steering wheel opposite the direction you want to go. What is the major cause of most serious skids? Driving too fast for road conditions. Antifreeze is effective under hot conditions as well as cold conditions. What is the maximum distance between tie downs to prevent cargo shifting? To prevent cargo shifting, tie down every 10 feet. What should you do when using a fire extinguisher to fight a fire? Aim at the base of the fire. When checking tires, what are some problems you should look for? Bad wear, 
cuts or other damage, tread separation, cracked valve stems. How can you know you have the engine speed and road speed to shift gears? By using the sound of the engine to know when to shift, you know you have the engine speed and road speed to shift gears. If you are using a helper when you are backing your vehicle, the helper should agree with you as to the signal for stop and stand where he can be seen by you. Wheels or rims that have been repaired by welding are not safe. What are some items to check, especially before driving in winter weather? Coolant levels and windshield washer and antifreeze. Besides watching the traffic behind you, you can use your rear view mirrors to watch for possible tire fires. What is a good policy for using your brakes when pulling off the road? Try to avoid using your brakes until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. You should always be looking into the distance ahead. Or actually, the question is, should you always be looking into the distance ahead? No. Instead, you should shift your attention back and forth, far and near. At night, where can you look to avoid the glare of oncoming traffic? Try to look at the right side of the road and watch the sidelines. Why can you never assume you will clear the height posted at overpasses? Because some roads can cause your vehicle to tilt. How long does it take to stop a heavy vehicle going 55 miles per hour on a dry level road? About the length of a football field or six seconds. About six seconds. You wish to turn right and you must swing wide. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Some newer vehicles have progressive shifting, which means the RPM at which you shift becomes higher as you move up in the gears. What must, pardon me, what may rust around the wheel nuts mean? Okay, let me just say that again. What may rust, or what does rust around the wheels, the wheel nuts mean? It means that the wheel nuts may be loose. So rust means that the wheel nuts may be loose. If your vehicle is coming on, if your vehicle, pardon me, let me just say that again. If your vehicle, if a vehicle, let's read this right, sorry. If a vehicle that is coming towards you has 
on high beams or has its high beams on, you should keep your lights on low, on low beam, and look off to the right. So, uh, basically, if you're seeing a vehicle come towards you with its high beams on, you don't want to turn your high beams on. Keep your high beams on low and look off to the right. What is true about downshifting before you reach a long downhill grade? Downshifting helps prevent the brakes from overheating and losing braking power. Whether backing a straight truck or a combination vehicle, you back and turn towards the driver's side. How often should you check your tires when driving in very hot weather? You should check your tires every two hours or every 100 miles. Because of the size of your vehicle, you may wish to flash your brakes lights that is, you may wish to flash your brake lights to remind drivers behind you of hazards that you see ahead. What is the purpose of brake retarders? Retarders are to help slow down the vehicle and to reduce brake wear. What is a good rule as to the speed you should go when driving at night? You should be able to stop within the range of your headlights. Downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you should use either the tachometer or speedometer. In making a quick turn, what is a point to remember? Do not apply the brakes when you are turning. How should you lessen chances of having to make sudden moves to avoid hazards. Watch far enough ahead so that hazards can be anticipated. Roads usually become more slippery when the temperature has risen to the point where the ice begins to melt. What should you do before you drive if you are feeling drowsy? Get some sleep. <laughs>